Stay tuned for the biggest fish, the hottest bites, this week here on In-Depth Outdoors. With James Holst and Pat McSherry and the rest of the IDO fishing team. We're headed to the best fisheries across the upper Midwest and Canada. We'll fish longer, explore unfished bodies of water, and go further off the beaten path in search of the hottest bites in fresh water. Look at that fish. This is In-Depth Outdoors. All right. Here today on In-Depth Outdoors, we are out on Lake Erie. Today it's gonna be me and PJ Vick chasing walleyes on what is one of the best walleye fisheries probably in the world. Uh, we're done with our ice fishing portion of our season and it feels really good to be out in the boat. Uh, we've done shows here in the past and have had just phenomenal fishing and the strength of the fishery actually continues to get better. So we're super, uh, super excited about being here today. So we're gonna start out with the trolling program, see if we can't get some fish in the boat, and uh, who knows what we'll do after that. It would be kind of nice to transition to some jigging at some point today, but if not, uh, we're gonna have a ton of fun out here on the water today on Lake Erie. Me and PJ Vic today on In-Depth Outdoors. <laughs> So what we're doing is we're spacing all of our lines out. Uh, so we're covering different water depths. We've got our shallowest running lines on the outside. And what we're doing is we're using a snap weight. So we let 25 feet of line out, attach that two ounce snap weight, and then let another 25 feet of line out. That's where we attach the boards. Then it's 25, 25 on the first line, second line, 30, 30. So it's 30 feet. Uh, between the crankbait and the snap weight, 30 feet from the snap weight to the board, and then as we get closer to the boat, we'll go 35, 35. And then throughout the day, we'll adjust that. At some points, if we see a lot of really high flying fish, fish that are way up off the bottom, we'll do a 20, 20 on the inside, and then go 20, 25 on that next line, and you know, 30, 30, to just keep those baits running at different depths until we really identify where those fish wanna feed. So uh, it's a really effective program, and one of the reasons uh, we're doing this versus just long lining baits is, you just don't have much line out. It's a lot quicker to, you know, when you hook that fish up, instead of having, you know, 150 feet out between the crankbait and the board, you've only got 50 feet, of, 50 feet of line. So it just makes it a lot more efficient. Doesn't mean long lining won't work. We might throw out some long lines at some point today, but we're gonna start with this, uh, this pattern of using that two ounce snap weight just to keep things a little bit more efficient. Hey, outside rod. Inside, oh. yeah. All right. Double down. That's that real shallow one. 25, 25. Okay. And mine was my deepest one, 30, 30. So what did we just learn, class? We didn't learn nothing. nothing. <laughs> <laughs> what we did learn is we were coming through just an absolute pile of fish. Eventually, one of them had to <laughs> eat something. Right. So Got you. there's something about Erie that everybody needs to keep in mind. The fish populations here are so strong. The DNR actually encourages people to keep fish. And they've had some incredibly strong hatches recently. Oh. So the fish populations are about as good as they've ever been. All right. What'd you get? Well, I, but Boy. I'm actually gonna let this one go. <laughs> that's, too, that's too much of the small. I mean, yeah. mine might actually be right in that same size class. Yeah. Just so small. I'll just lift this one. He, yep. he belted it pretty good. Yeah, he did. So one of my favorite baits out here, doesn't get talked about too much, scatter wrap tail dancer. Fantastic bait. I've had some just amazing catches out here on this bait. And that's what put the first one in the boat for us. And that one is gonna go in the box. All right, number one in the box. See you later, dude. Another one, James. There you there go. We go. That was three quick. 
Yeah, this doesn't feel bad at all, James. Well, good. I'll get back here and give you some help. Yep. It is staying down. It's staying down. And that's always a good sign. All right. All right. Wade will be coming shortly because it's only 20 feet. Oh, that's a good point. Where am I going? <laughs> yeah, definitely staying down. You're telling me we need a net? Uh, we'll see. There you go. There's Wade. a good chance we will right. need a net. Yes, no? I, I'll wing that in. Keep him out of the net if we can. Yep, keep him out of the net if we can. Very good eats. Just the kind I like to clean. That was on the blue chrome. So, looks like that's gonna play as well. Well, if there's an almost a f official bait for Lake Erie, it's that, <laughs> that one right chrome, there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, open water, ice fishing, the whole deal. It works all the time. There we go, bud. Yeah, if we could box a bunch of those, yeah. that'd be just yeah, fine. that's gonna be good eating right there, boy. All right. Number deuce. Number two. Rain, boat spray, wind, and if you're unlucky enough, even snow. When your drive to work is a highway of water, you need outerwear that you can count on day after day, week after week, year after year. The Rapala Rain Pro and the Rapala Rain Jacket and bibs are exceptionally crafted using premium materials and fitted for comfort. With the right gear, you can weather the storm. Backed by a legendary name you can trust. If you want to know how the best anglers always seem to find fish, stay on fish, and be in the right place at the right time, don't ask them. Just look at the name on the side of their boat. The one that's built 10 million motors, shallow water anchors, and more. No angler's going to tell you their secrets, but they don't have to, because you already know. Minn Kota, fish for more. Reed's Family Outdoor Outfitters in Walker, Minnesota has the hottest products for ice fishing at unbeatable prices. Everything from Garmin, Ice Electronics, Ice Shelters, and Ice Clothing from all the top brands. And the newest lithium-powered augers with special everyday pricing on the Garmin LifeScope Ice Bundle. Whether you're visiting us in Walker, Minnesota, or placing an order online at reedsports.com, our state-of-the-art distribution center ensures you'll get your order fast. Reed's Family Outdoor Outfitters offers the best service, best price, best advice, guaranteed. Okuma Fishing Tackle offers a complete lineup of reels for the die-hard ice angler. The Okuma Samar 10 and Inspira 20 are a perfect match with your favorite panfish or walleye ice fishing rod. Both feature a long stem handle that fits comfortably in a gloved hand. Cyclonic flow rotor technology that throws water off the reel to minimize ice buildup. And a drag system optimized for use in extreme conditions. Everywhere, every day, every fish. Okuma Fishing Tackle is inspired fishing. There we go. That one didn't look a little yeah, funny, did I it? I thought it looked a little funny. That's on the 35-35 uh, pink chrome. Imagine that. Yeah, <laughs> pretty see, easy to see a pattern here. <laughs> You know, we put out a, a bunch of bright lures and tried all that stuff and purples and everything, and it, it just comes back to the chrome. Yep. Sun, sunny day, that's what it is. Brighter, flashier, the better. Yep. Swimming right along. Oh, your middle board. <laughs> middle board. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it does take priority. Yeah. Oh, that's a nice fish. Need a net? That's, uh, yeah, it's not bad, bud. I could help. Chubby. I'm not feeling a lot of love on this one. It All doesn't right. feel that big. Yeah, I'd say that one's one of those four or five pounders. Come on in here, you old egg wagon. <laughs> egg wagon. <laughs> there you be. That's a nice fish. That is a nice fish. I'm not sure that fish is there anymore, but we'll see. I, not a bad chunker. I think I'm going to let that one back, let her do her thing. I think there'll be plenty of those uh, nice 20, 21 inch fish. Agreed. So. All right. Oh, there's oh, there he is. Rocking back pretty good. Scatter up tail dancer. The husky jerks are kind of the, the mainstay, but that scatter up tail dancer in chrome colors has always been so good. 
Yeah, one thing we've noticed with those as well out here is when they decide to bite them, they absolutely crunch them. They I mean, totally garbage can them yeah. for whatever reason. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Oh, outside. Hey! Double down. Look at the map. We were just saying, hey, I think we should be getting bit with all those fish down here. Yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah. oh yeah, I can see its mouth way back there. They're definitely fighting like it's 36 degree <laughs> water temperature. That's not a bad one. Not a bad one at all. Oh, I got some bad news for you. <laughs> Dinner time. Ah, chunky. Yeah, I like seeing that. When they get that front hook in the mouth, that means they went right for it, took, tried to take it at the head, and you generally land those fish. Probably a 18, 19 inch fish. Perfect eater. Coming home. How you doing? I'm doing good. I'm right here. My fish is staying down pretty decent. To be honest, I think I'm gonna put some more up at that 30-30. That I has don't been blame you. Really good to me over here with the husky jerks. Well, that's the biggest one on this pole. Yep. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> down he goes. You got one on your inside oh, yeah. rod. Yeah. That one's right. pulling some drag. I got her. <laughs> He's being nice and lazy for me. Nice light net. There we go. All right, that's a good fish. Yes, it is. Excellent. Okay. All right. Yeah. Nice, nice fish. Low 20s, yep. chunker. Chunky, chunky. Heck yeah. There we go. I like everything about this one. Good. All right, we're going in. Boom. Gotcha. Thank you. Nice fish, James. Get this one unhooked. Oh, right. yeah. T-bone right yeah. front yeah, hook. Yeah, I I'm going to go with that 25-25 program over here. I bet you it's going to pay off. That's a dandy. It's one of Beautiful our better fish, fish today. Absolutely it is. In the box. I'm not going to keep any 26s and 28s, but uh, this one's coming home. All right. I think that deserves a fist bump. That yeah, it does. I mean, this is the enjoyment. I know you, you feel the same way. Yeah. People talk about you know, trolling isn't as much fun. I think it's as much fun or maybe even more fun. Yeah. The part of figuring it out locating the fish, putting down the waypoints, then figuring out lures, yeah. depths. There's a lot of involvement to it. There really is. Speeds, uh, you know, time of day, where to be, different spots. I mean, there's a lot of moving parts, and the reward is when chaos ensues, which is, you know, a lot of people think lazy trolling. Oh, lazy it, and trolling don't go together. <laughs> no. When I've had a good day on the water trolling, my mind is spent. Yeah. It's like studying for like a college algebra, you know, math test, right? <laughs> Where you just worked at it and you focused on it yeah. and, and when you're done, you're just like, oh, yeah. that's the way a good trolling day ends for me. Yeah. Just yeah. totally exhausted mentally. Yeah. <sighs> Fishing is all about connecting with nature. Then grabbing nature by the lip and holding it up for a picture. Randall GM in Aiken, Minnesota's only haggle-free Chevrolet, Buick, and GMC dealer is a proud sponsor of In-Depth Outdoors TV. Our Brandle value price ensures that you don't have to spend your entire day haggling to get a great deal. And every new vehicle comes with our exclusive gimmick-free lifetime powertrain warranty. Whether you're in need of service, sales, parts, or body shop repair, stop by our state-of-the-art facility in Aiken or visit us 24-7 at BrandleGM.com. Live Imaging shows you what's below in real time with edge-to-edge -edge clarity and no gaps in coverage. All so you can turn must-watch detail into non-stop action. Only from Humminbird. 
At Eskimo, we have the tools to help you enjoy your time on the ice. They say a man needs food, clothing, and shelter. When it comes to shelter, we like the Outbreak 450i with its full-size no-trip door that's nearly 74% bigger than a standard door, making it much easier to load and unload. With 75 square feet of fishable area, you'll be warm and comfortable during your day on the ice. Check out the Outbreak 450i and our full line of products at GetEskimo.com. All right. Which one's which? Double, man. Simultaneously, if you grab that one. In the turn, maybe we got to speed up turn. a little bit. And we just kind of came off that break a little bit, and we started contacting fish again, and yeah. bing, bang, boom. Up a little shallow. Yep. This one is not big? No. This one doesn't feel all bad. But that 30-30, I just kind of put the whole spread there, mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, that's one thing you kind of pay attention to when, when certain numbers start rolling just put them all there <laughs> it's, it's not rocket surgery nope. <laughs> color and distance yep yeah, this one does not feel spectacular yeah oh, we'd have to gonna, let them hang i'm tight on this one this is just a okay. little guy i'm gonna just yep i'm just you gonna go ahead and pull it right in ah they love that blue yeah. chrome yeah they do <laughs> just a little guy yep this one's got a little bit more resistance to it We'll see. It's gonna have more than this one. Yeah. See you, bye. Uh, hooked very well. They are not being shy about basically laying on it right no. now. No. Yeah. That'll do. <laughs> Dandy. Yes, nice fish. That one had almost all the trouble hooks in it. <laughs> Was not going anywhere. Blue chrome. All right, I'm gonna put that one in the box. The last two fish on my side have been on that blue chrome too. Uh, I mean, I've got a pink chrome in there and it's been solid, but not as good as the blue chrome and my outside rod just oh, got pummeled. Yep, you just got hammered. <laughs> All right, I need a board on that line. Okay, it's it's out, you. it's got the weight on there. Beautiful. So this is that blue chrome scatter app. So we're kind of, we're running a mix of braid and mono. We're catching them on both. Basically it's a angler's preference kind of deal. Uh, we're keeping it uh, the braid is six pound diameter. So that's a 20 pound test. Suffix 832. And then the uh, the mono is a 10 pound suffix advance. Oh yeah. Thank you, sir. Oh, yeah. One of the things that really helps is we're using the autopilot and cruise control functions on the Minn Kota trolling motor. So, I mean, everybody's familiar with autopilot. You point it in a direction and it goes. That's a huge advantage. You start having the boat wander on you when you've got two or three fish hooked up, that's gonna be a mess. And then the cruise control is just wonderful. You select a trolling speed and the trolling motor holds you at that speed. No more you know, messing with the throttle on the kicker. So the kicker does most of the pushing. I've just got it barely in gear, right? So you just start the kicker up, put it in forward gear, and then uh, we do the fine tune adjustment of the trolling speed and direction with the uh, bow mount trolling motor. Oh, Very yeah. good fish. Big old mouth on that one. <laughs> and that is that scatter wrap tail dancer. Look at that drop belly on that thing. <laughs> <laughs> Whoop. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yep. Well, that's my biggest fish of the yeah, day. That's like, a nice one. You know, we made the point that, that scatter wrap tail dancer just kind of does bigs. It does. I, I, I can remember our last trip out here and some of the largest fish we caught just absolutely inhaled that bait. Come on. And I'm gonna let that one go. Yeah. That one's a... Uh, that, that's an above above our eater standards. Yeah. That's the genetics we lack right yeah. there. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna fire her back. Coming in. Big old fatty. Go make a bunch of babies. Goodbye. That felt good. Yeah. We are a bit off of our line here, we so are. we gotta make a steering adjustment and get that line back out. Norsk Lithium offers a complete lineup of lithium ion batteries to power your ice electronics that provide huge weight savings and the power you need to fish from sun up to sundown. 
Available in 7.5, 15, and 20 amp hour capacities, Norsk lithium batteries are perfectly matched to power your mechanical, digital, and live imaging sonar systems. Featuring two patent pending USB ports for powering all of your USB devices and an integrated LED power indicator. Find your perfect battery online at NorskLithium.com. I'm not like you and my friend. You're not very much like With me. You. By my side, I see things differently. Don't miss Reed's Gun Fair, the last weekend of April. The largest try-before-you-buy gun sale in the USA. Shoot factory demo guns for free and compare with over 30 factory reps on site with free gifts and factory cash savings. See shooting shows, games, and fun for the whole family. Long-range rifle, pistol, and shotgun demo shooting is all free. Save on optics, clothing, outdoor gear, and even a truckload ammo sale. Reed's Gun Fair is in conjunction with Morrison County Ducks Unlimited. So don't miss raffles, special guns, and more. It's all at reedsgunfair.com. Heck yeah, blue chrome. Okay, thank you. Fish on. It's no giant. I'm gonna guess okay. I can get by with a swing. Okay. If you change your mind, I will be ready. Don't hold me to it, yes. I appreciate it. Is your outside board going back there? Or yes, all it you, is. Oh, you're letting it out. Nope, I'm not letting it out. Oh. <laughs> we, got a, we got a fish. We're catching fish. It's like all the other boards are going forward right. and that one's going backwards. <laughs> yeah. I bet you this fish is going to be decent you're pulling up here. I think you're right. It's staying right down. It's trying to pass the boat. Oh yeah, really nice fish. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Crushy. Right across the mouth. When you see that, you know they wanted every last bit of it out of there. There we go. Oh, that was my bed. Almost rehooked her. Beautiful fish. That's gorgeous, James. Heck yeah. Back you go. You get a free pass. We'll make a bunch of babies. How's yours feeling? I'm not really sure yet, but while I was, while you were doing your whole thing, the other one went back out there, so you, you might want to catch that one as well. <laughs> Which? <laughs> you're, you're outside? Yeah. <laughs> Well, how about I just be yep. a team player here? Okay. Yeah, there's a little groove in there. Yep. And just would not let go. Gold Alburnus. Yeah, and it is crunched. <laughs> a little hefty for a lifter, but hey, we're doing her. <laughs> nice fish. I think we've got pretty much all we want here. Uh, oh, yeah. Today, so. This one's keeping the board down. Yeah, it is. I like all that. Right. Back that one goes. It is a mono rod, so I don't like my chances of trying to just lift that one. There, the big skid. Uh, yeah. In the bag. Excellent. Boom. That'll do. All right. <laughs> it's a dandy. Yeah, it is. Gonna let that one go. It's a little bit over the, uh, I mean, most guys keep them. Yeah. Yeah, and, and you're not doing any damage by doing no. so. But so our, our personal preference is the other one to eat a little better for us. Exactly. See you, bye. Oh, okay, this yeah. is turning into mayhem. Yes, it is. This side is going crazy. <laughs> Here's what's going on. We just caught those two fish on the scatter apps. One gold Alburnus, one blue chrome. He had the bigger fish on the HJ. The HJ just got back. That's yeah. that rod. It wasn't even into place yet. It basically locked tight, <laughs> started to go forward, got hit. I'm still trying to get the gold Alburnus out and the blue chrome yeah. scatter app it's hasn't, hasn't been fishing for 10 minutes. <laughs> Those are the problems you like to see out here. Oh. There, there. Oh. <laughs> Balance that uh, thing right on the edge. Comes. Yeah, what I a, think that's your biggest fish of the day, that's bro. That's the biggest fish of the day for sure. I mean, that is a chunk yeah. right there, boy. I like that. Oh yeah, big mama. I'm guessing that's buried back there for a reason, eh? 
<laughs> oh, oh, PJ, that is a fat one. Yeah, it is. That won't take wow. honors for length, but that thing is the built. The build right. on that. That's actually a great place yeah, to put it. Yeah, it is. You don't go anywhere when you do that. No. Nope. Look at the bowling ball build on that one. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's good stuff. That one's going back. All right, girl. Lively. Goodbye. Lively. Got him. That was on the turn. We'll let her get behind the other one there. Patience is a virtue yep. when you're fishing boards like that. A little slow down and munch. I, I had actually sped up and was just allowing the boat to come back to our speed. Mm -hmm. So we, we were mm -hmm. going too fast on the outside. My guess is the inside was right at that 1415. Okay, perfect. Well, that has been a consistent speed for us today. Right. I don't know what you think, but let's just make this the last fish. Yeah. I, I, I'm feeling good about today. We got a lot of fish in the box, what we wanted to take home, and got a lot of good fights and a lot of release fish, too. Yes. Yeah. Well, you know, in the mornings, start of day, I, I wake up pretty angry at fish. <laughs> I'm not angry at fish right <laughs> no. now. No. Yeah, we're well, we're well beyond that, which is 160 back. That's kind of been the money number on these scatter app tail dancers. Yeah, just a combo program all day long. Yeah. That 30-30 snap weight program mm -hmm. to the husky jerks. And then long lining these scatter wrap tail dancers. It would kind of go on and off, right? Yeah. I mean, yeah, so at some points, the, the tail dancers, the scatter wrap tail dancers were just unbeatable. And then you'd have periods where it was all about the husky jerks. You yeah, got a big one we're going to end on? I don't, I'm not really sure. I mean, there's a lot of head pumping going on here. So anybody watching right now, if you're thinking you'd like to come over and give this a try, you know, we're the 17th of March right now. There's several weeks of pre-spawn fishing yet to come. And then this bite in the Western Basin is just outstanding all the way through April. So yeah. you've got a ton of time if you want to come over and give this a try for the first time. It's a pretty special bite. Wow. Beautiful. All right, here he comes. Yeah, that, I mean, that's kind of been the average fish today, which is an awesome I'll average. And we've had a good number of them above that as well. So that's our last fish. Yep. We're gonna cut this off right here. We got a long drive home for everybody watching. Hope you found the show you know, informative <laughs> and also enjoyed seeing us out there on open water for the very first time this season. Don't know where we're going next week, but it's gonna be in a boat. So yeah, thanks for absolutely. watching. We'll see you out there on the water. For more info on the latest fish reports, gear recommendations, and hottest techniques, connect with us online at indepthoutdoors.com or follow us on Facebook at Indepth Outdoors. And if you enjoyed today's show, be sure to let our sponsors know.